Alrighty guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to set up your character's looks and appearance. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, open up your F1 menu, player related options. It's going to bring you up here to player options. What you want to do is come down to MP Ped Customization. And then if you're a new character, you want to sit there and create male or create female character. Today we'll create a male character. Character inheritance, this is where you set up your facial features and how you want your character to look. Skin tone, all of that sort of stuff. So we'll come through, we'll select this guy. Uh, actually, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll roll with this guy here. He looks alright. So then you can go through, select the mother appearances, and you can sit here and use these to change the appearance of your face back and forth. So I think we just stick with that default. We're going to hit backspace to go back. Character appearance this is where we come into our hairstyles. So you can scoot through here, pick a hairstyle, and we come down to hair color. You just got to scoot through until you find a hair color. Hair highlights, pretty basic. Uh, blemishes and all this sort of stuff. You're going to have to set the, the opacity for these up if you want to see them. Normally sets it, normally starts at zero opacity. Set them to 100 if you want to be able to see the blemishes. Uh, beard, same thing, gonna have to set that up to 100. Uh, change the color once to bring it back. Um, eyebrows, same thing, set the opacity to 100. With the color, they will start out green, just gotta bounce back and forth or select another color. Aging, same thing, set it to 100. If you want to look older, however you want. Makeup, uh, I believe this is where some of the tattoo options are, set that to 100. Probably be more so for the females, but you got some full face tattoos and face makeup and all of that as well. So you work your way through that. Yeah, let's look like the Joker, why not? Uh, what else have we got? Makeup, color. Oi, that's... Christ almighty, that's not quite what I wanted to do. And then you got blushes, complexion, sun damage. Chest hair. A lot of this stuff is more optional, but you just got to work your way through it. Alrighty, next. Character face shape. This is where you can tweak the shape of your character's face, as uh, as stated by the title there. So just sit here and we can work through all of this as needed. Character tattoo options. Now, these get a bit tricky. Once you select, oh, if we go torso tattoos. Once you pick a tattoo that you want, you want to hit enter to save that. If you want to take it off, you go back to the same number, hit enter again, and it removes it. Um, so we'll just do ourselves a joke in here and just add every tattoo. Alright, similar thing for arm tattoos. Any tattoos that you put on, you have to hit enter. to save those tattoos. You can then come down here if you wish and remove all tattoos or badge overlays. I'm honestly not too sure what badge overlays does. So we'll just leave that. If you want, you can come down and remove all tattoos. Character clothes. This is where people tend to get a bit stuck. Masks. Pretty self-explanatory. You may need to adjust your face shape to fit into certain masks. I'll see if I can find. As you can see there, face is clipping through that mask. So you may need to go back and adjust the shape of your face in order to get it to fit into some of the masks. Upper body. This changes your arms and your torso. You don't want to be walking around like this with no arms or anything like that. So what we'll do, we'll start with this. I believe we normally start around here at number seven. Lower body pants, as it's uh, probably self-explanatory. I'm going to go through here. Select a set of pants that looks half decent. Okay, we'll go with the bape shorts. Now, to change your textures on your clothing, you just hit enter to run your way through it. 
So you'll see down over here, it'll say texture currently selected number one. You can work your way through all the different textures that we have here for the pants. Bags and parachutes, we won't worry about that just yet. Shoes, self-explanatory. Come down here, you can flick your way through the shoes. Um, we've got quite a range of selections. Do not wear shoe option 21. It bugs out your uh, shirt overlays and jackets and you'll end up looking like an absolute monkey. So anything besides number 21, because that's an issue right now, we'll put on some, we'll put on some thongs. Scarves and chains, this will put things around your neck. There's certain gun holsters, um, necklaces, ties. It just depends on how you tie that in with the rest of your outfit. Shirt and accessory, we'll leave that at 15 for now. Body armor accessory, we'll leave that for now. Shirt overlays and jackets, this is where it gets interesting. So 15 for shirt overlays and jackets and shirt and accessories. That's where we want to keep those if you don't want anything on. Shirt overlays and jackets, this is going to be your main clothing item. I suppose that you're going to want to use more than the uh, shirt and accessories. It's a little bit confusing in that sense. So We'll pick this shirt. Lucky devil. If you want to turn around, press space bar. Um, there's some things down the bottom there. So as we can see, we've got a little bit of clipping with our upper body. So what we need to do with the upper body is actually go in and change that slightly to remove that clipping. So we can see there that's now removed the clipping. If we if we were to take off our shirt, so for instance, if we were to bring this back here, you can see we don't have a torso in that configuration. Um, but when you, if you take off your shirt through the U menu, you will have your torso. Badges and logos, pretty self-explanatory. It puts badges, there's certain things like there's some bracelets and watches in there as well. Um, I don't think that's where you can find GoPros if you want to have a GoPro on. There's a couple of backpacks in there by the looks of things. Um, but yeah, I generally don't mess around in there too much because there's not a lot in there that I need. Body armor and accessories. As explained, body armor, probably not going to want to wear it. It's illegal in New South Wales and Australia in general. But you see here, there's a few gang things in here. There's a press thing. You'll probably get away with wearing that if you're a news reporter and you go into scenes and stuff like that. There's another GoPro. For some reason, that's in two places. Um, and you've got some of the gang stuff. Don't wear that unless you're in the gang. You'll end up dead. Uh, gangs don't find too fondly of people just rolling around in their shit. Gonna keep flicking through there. Nothing really in there for me today, so we're just gonna leave that. Shirt and accessory. There's another GoPro. We've got three different GoPro locations. Um, so there's some tool belts, that sort of thing in here. As you can see here, there's some undershirts. So if I was gonna be wearing, say, a suit jacket, if we can find something. There we go. We'll look at that. That's how we'd work that around. So we'd, we'd use the jacket as the shirt overlay and jackets. And the shirt and accessory, we would come under and put that underneath. I'm going to take this mask off because it looks dumb. Alright, so that's pretty much how you get yourself set up. We've got a mighty fine character here. Character props, this is where you'll find your hats, uh, sunglasses, all of that sort of stuff. Um, miscellaneous props, that's uh, earpieces, jewellery, that sort of stuff. Uh, watches, bracelets, and that sort of stuff. Uh, I believe watches does left hand, bracelets do the other hand. No, I could be wrong. And then what you're going to do, facial expression, if you want to set that up. I don't think anybody really does that one too much, to be honest. Then what you're going to do, save character. So we'll just save this as tutorial gym. Alrighty. Now, when you want to reload that character, you can come down here and save characters. As you can see, I've got quite a few. We're going to Tutorial Gym. Now, what we can do is we can spawn that character. We can come back in and we can edit that character. If we come back down. Uh, we can also clone the character. So, if you want to keep all the same facial features, tattoos, etc. You go into Clone Character, Tutorial Gym 1. We'll make the next one. And then, if we come back here, you can see Tutorial Gym, Tutorial Gym 1. We can then come in and edit Tutorial Gym 1. It won't touch the regular Tutorial Gym. You can set it as your default. I don't recommend that, personally. Uh, you can rename it, or you can delete it. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps out some of you new guys. Whether you're new to 5M, new to the server, whatever. Um, I'd recommend using that. If you want to create a female character, same thing through female characters. Um, and then again, it's just a bit of a balancing act uh, when it comes to using the... Uh, 
the upper bodies and all that. You just got to figure out so you don't have clipping and all that sort of stuff with your clothes. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for hanging around. We're going to uh, take old tutorial gym here and go, go do some stuff. Have a good one, guys. Peace.